But it is what's up, what do you guys? It's me, Edge, and I'm back with another V I D E O video. You know what? I need to, I need, I need to get like a boom box or, or, or some. I said a boom box. Y'all gonna be like, she's so old. I need to get me, um, a, um, a, um, um, some bongos. Some bongos. V I D E O video v i d e o it's a video it's a video about you i'm having a video video today and so in this video i'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about how my nails grow naturally no serum no oils no nothing i'm just simply going to tell y'all exactly the proper way to grow y'all nails so yeah, guys, for those people who are just like, oh, I'm sick of these nubs. I'm tired of, you know, feeling the tip of my fingers when I touch myself. I'm tired of cutting myself and this, and this, that, and the third. Because sometimes when you have nubs, like it's easy to do damage to your fingernails. And it's like, <laughs> you don't want that, okay? So basically, to start off with, my nails have been growing like this ever since I was born. Like, honestly, this is like something natural, but I honestly think that it runs in the family. You know, my grandmother has long nails. My auntie has long nails, like really long. And so like, they're just natural. Cause I remember I was in school in kindergarten or I was in first grade or whatever. And we was playing, you know, the game where you throw the ball and stuff like that. And like not ball toss, not, not a uh, dodgeball. It was something and you had to like, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. It wasn't with the balls. It was, it was with the little, the little, little slang thingies and we used to hit each other with them anyways and so when i would take when i would uh it would be my turn i would win or whatever this like the third i um scratched somebody i knew and they was like you need to cut your nails and that's when i realized i was like yo my nails have been long for a very long time and so they used to be amazed at how long my nails were and i'm just like <laughs> they grow like that and they used to be like wow like your nails are so long like they just grow like that like yeah so basically hope y'all can see these are how my nails look. They are unpolished. Like I just stripped the polish off. If you see me in the video with my nails white, that was those those were my nails. Those are my nails. And so basically, literally, y'all, I kid you not, every time I come out the shower, every time I come out the shower, it seems like my nails have just grown an inch longer. They're fatter, most most likely because you know they're hydrated because of the water. Honestly, the same way that I said take care of your hair because your hair is like a plant. That's how I feel about nails. I feel like when it comes to hair and nails, those are the main things that we want to grow. And our eyelashes and our eyebrows and stuff like that, we want those parts to grow. And you have to nourish them as such. You know what I'm saying? But as far as nails, like literally, I, I've only had acrylic. Let's see. Um... The first time I had it was when I went to Florida. The second time was homecoming. The third time was prom. The fourth time was job. So I've only had acrylic done four times in my life. As far as my nails itself, I used to do my nails all back in middle school. Like those who knew me, like knew like every, I think I changed, I think I used to change my nails every week prior to what I was going to wear that week. Just like I used to change my nails, how I changed my hair. And so basically like i would do my nails i would design them because i i used to think i wanted to be a nail tech like like really i was i was like not even the fact that i had long nails like even when i didn't or i cut my nails off i was still having done i'm still having paint i was still having pretty i was still having my toes done and it was all i need and i used to want to be a nail tech have all the nail kits have all the nails the polishes the different polishes and all that other stuff so it was cool the designs but as far as like getting my nails done, I started acrylic. I didn't even just start acrylic. Like like someone had someone had um offered to take me to the nail shop and I was like, Well, I've never had acrylic on my nails before. And when I tell you I guarded my acrylic nails with my life, I guarded them with my life because it's like I used to hear girls talk about how, oh, 
this hurt like you break a nail it's 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 gonna hurt and you're gonna feel it and that's exactly what it was and i'm just like i don't have time to be breaking no nails to be bleeding in, you know for my nail bed to come completely off and then have to regrow back and then i can't get my nails done because i have to re like no 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 i'm not even a fan of acrylics to be honest like i love the way they look on me i love doing this and that but i could do this and that with my nails just like how they are and i could tap on my screen with how my nails are but honestly it's the love-hate relationship like i love when i cut my nails i just have this natural look and i cut them down like to where you can still see nail and it's not all the way like nub i can't st i can't stand nubs if you're a guy and you're trying to talk to me make sure your nails are not nub because i'm gonna point that out i'm gonna be like your nails look like sausages like i don't like that you grow your nails just a little bit just a pinch i don't know you're probably like well dudes like as long as don't have nubs like you've been fighting like gross as long as you have your nails are at at least you know fat at least i can see the nail bed like you, you but yeah and so after I would do acrylic, I would see the way that it would leave my hands and it would leave them mad weak. And I didn't like that. So what I would do, like if I wanted to have, rock a natural look where I didn't want my nails painted, but I wanted them a little bit glossy. All I used to do was put on a base coat. But before I put on base coat, I used literally a nail protectant. I can't remember when I got this, but I've had this nail protectant for like three years now. And I, I probably maybe even more like literally and it's still like half in in the bottle because i don't use it like that literally i just splash a little bit of nail protector i don't use enough coats i just use one and i call it a day when i want to feel like being natural like most likely after this video i'm going to polish my nails with nail protectant and that's pretty much it i'm not sure if that's like another reason why my nails are so all growing so fast because when i cut my nails i already know what about what time it's, it's going to take them to grow back so i don't even really care for it but after acrylics i basically was cutting my nails shorter and letting them grow and then as soon as they grew back i was cutting them again like i was trimming my nails to an extent that to where when it came to them being stronger and they grew longer that they were more healthy so i think that's another thing another tip like keep keep your nails up keep your keep keep the inside of your nails clean i cannot stress this enough we eat we dig in our hairs we we um we we touch things it's it's bacteria all around if you have long nails even if you have short nails just make sure that you keep the inside of your nails very freaking clean because that's just disgusting when you wash your hands at least and, and because like i have long nails i can do this but even still i i go in with with the snow uh, snow with the soap on my palm and i just literally just do this and and i do that and i literally let the water run through and i do it again like and i wash because it's like it's gross it's gross. I don't like sticky stuff in between my fingers. I don't like sticky stuff on stuff on my hands. I feel yicky inside. So yeah, that's what we not out there down. But that's that's pretty much it. And I'm really debating on whether I should cut my nails again because I just I love when my I love when my hair is done and my nails are cut with some natural polish or some clear polish, and I feel good. Like, I need to get some more beads because I feel like I'm on a wave right now. I'm on a wave. I did my hair yesterday. I feel... <laughs> rock it out. <laughs> rock it out. I feel great, you know? <laughs> Dude, it's freaking amazing. You know, I feel like I'm on cloud nine right now. You know, got the, the fit, you know? <laughs> it's the aesthetic. It's the aesthetics. I had on tie-dye with some patterns yesterday it, it, it it's 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 a vibe okay it's amazing i'm starting to channel my inner peace you know what i'm saying it's it's glorified it's glorious you know <laughs> and that's 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 basically it this is like the chill side the peace because i've been looking for peace begging for space literally like but yeah, guys, um, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully this video was really helpful to y'all. And now y'all know exactly like, look, when you, when you see these nails, baby, these are all mine. 
Like people, I have, I can't stress this enough. My nails grew tremendously in the summertime, like longer than this. I think, I think it's about at the amount that it was in the summertime, but it was longer than these. And it's, I, I don't know. I'm so fascinated with, with when my face glows and my nails grow and my hair is growing. Like it's a mess. <laughs> I'm in a good space right now, okay? I'm in a great space, and I'm glad because I used to want my nails to be like this. Like when they would grow an inch, I would I would get so happy. But honestly, literally, it's like every time I get out the shower, I see a tremendous growth. I don't know what it is, but and I keep my hands moisturized now more than I have before. So I don't know what's really you know making the growth what it is. But even every time I go in the shower, when it comes to my hair and water, like my hair could be in twists. And I don't know, it's like the um, the mist from the water, it might just get in my hair and I'm not even under the shower, but it literally might get in my hair or the steam in the area might get on my hair and my hair could be stiff before I get under the shower, but after I get out the shower, I shake it and it's like, yo, it's a whole bunch of volume. So water is a powerful drain. Make sure you drink your water, you use your water, you get you a spray bottle and all that other stuff. But yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it was, I really hope that it was helpful for y'all because, yeah, just, just take care of yourself. Hygiene wise, point blank, period. Live another day, live another day. Live life to the very fullest. Have a wonderful and marvelous new year. Thank God. Woo! -hoo! We get back into the new year. We in a new year, new beginnings. What you talking about? But yeah. And stay prayed up always. And yeah. I love y'all and we out of here.